what we know are that, that diseases such as diabetes and prediabetes and cardiovascular conditions and dementia all have a major metabolic underlying cause. We and others had looked at this muscle called the soleus muscle. It's the primary muscle that we use in our lower leg for standing, walking, and running. It has a whole different set of both anatomical and cellular properties that make it special. So what we learned was that if you can activate the muscle through a specific type of way, then it will use more energy than normal. It looks simple from the outside, but sometimes what we see with our naked eye isn't the whole story. The specific type of soleus contractions that we developed and have been testing, we call a soleus push-up. You can do it while sitting which we know we do a lot of since the average person sits about 10 hours a day. From the outside, if you were to zoom in on the ankle, it would look a lot like if you're walking, such that the ankle is bending and the heel is rising. However, internally, it's exactly the opposite. And that's part of the secret sauce to this, is that instead, when doing this activity, the muscle is simultaneously shortening while the motor neurons are activating intensely. With walking, the exact opposite is happening in that the muscle is turned off once the hill starts to rise. And what we showed is that people could lower their blood glucose with a single session of doing soleus muscle contractions by about 50%. And the magnitude rivals what you would see in the hours after exercise or any other type of therapy. And we don't know of any therapeutic approach, even the strongest pharmaceuticals that come close to raising metabolic rate as much as activating 1% of your body's weight through sustained soleus contractions. What we developed was a way that people can sustain muscle contractile activity for hours, not minutes. And doing that, they were able to use a special mixture of fuels. Instead of using the intramuscular glycogen, which is the stored carbohydrate, they were able to use fuels that came from the blood, such as blood glucose and blood lipoproteins. First point is, is simply sit in a chair where you're comfortable. It's okay to not have to sit straight up. You lean back, put your feet underneath your knees such that if we were to draw a straight line from the tip of your toes to the tip of your knee, it would be lined up pretty well. The second point is that I want you to picture your ankle joint. Sometimes this is where it's good to, to have a friend who might put their, their hand both on the top of the foot and on the front of the ankle, right where the ankle is straightening up. So if you picture the foot and the ankle coming together, what you're really doing is you're just straightening that joint. You're straightening it out. And so that's the motion that you should think about, okay? That'll help you avoid a lot of mistakes that we'll talk about later that I see some doctors putting videos up for their patients or doing incorrectly, all right? And so the next point is that as you do that, picture that you're lightly pressing against the ball of the foot, which is where the toes insert into the foot, that, that MTP joint. Just press lightly as that, as you're straightening up that ankle. That's a good thing. You don't want to press too hard, otherwise you, you'll start to, to use your upper leg muscles. We want all of these muscles in the thigh completely relaxed. Then the next point is that you want to do a smooth dynamic motion. The rate can vary quite a bit. The, but what we're, we really want to think about is move it such that you're going in a fluid motion like I'm doing here with my leg. It's just going up and down, up and down. Very smooth, fluid motion, okay? Don't jerk it, okay? You don't need to jerk and pause. Again, there's some, some points that, that we'll talk about later. And that the rate that we're doing it at right now is about 60 per minute. In other words, one per second. So you could count 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004. That's a good rate to go. It's a nice, smooth motion to start with. With time, you'll be able to vary that based on personal preferences. And so when you get comfortable doing this, you might start off with just one leg, like I'm doing here with my left leg right now. That's a good way to do it because you can, you can be nice and smooth. If I'm in a rolling chair right now, it has wheels, and so it tends to roll around a little bit in some places, but it's not when I put the foot down. You might be sitting in a chair that's too high for you, too, too short for you, something like this. You can learn to do this with one leg and you're gonna get uh, a good lesson at doing this.